For over six hours on Monday, October 4, 2021, social media giant Facebook was shut down. This blackout not only affected the number one social media platform, but its subsidiaries, Instagram and WhatsApp. This is the worst outage for the technology giant since the last downtime in 2019. According to outage tracking website, downdetector.com, 10.6 million reports were received from across the world, with the first report appearing by 3.45 p.m. GMT. This is the largest reported case on the site till date. After extended hours of service interruption, Facebook Chief Technology Officer Mike Shurepfa went on competitor's platform Twitter to offer some words of assurance saying it was just some network issues. He said, Sincere apologies to everyone impacted by outages on Facebook-powered services right now. We are experiencing networking issues and teams are working as fast as possible to debug and restore as fast as possible. This outage came at a time when a whistleblower, a former employee of Facebook, Frances Haugen, claims that the company prioritizes profit over users. While Facebook was battling to get to the bottom of the matter, other social media sites were having a field day. Twitter, on its official handle, tweeted, Hello, literally everyone. This was an obvious indication that with its strongest rival down, attention will almost definitely be focused on the Bird app. As the migration of eyeballs fell on Twitter, users started reporting some issues with it. This prompted the Twitter support page to quickly tweet, Sometimes more people than usual use Twitter. We prepare for this moment. But today, things didn't go exactly as planned. Some of you may have had an issue seeing replies and DMs as a result. This has been fixed. Sorry about that. After over six hours of outage, Facebook finally comes online, announcing that services have been restored while blaming the failure of faulty configuration change. The effect of the over six hours of blackout, which shook the online community, could be felt in businesses that depend on these platforms to survive. As traffic moved to competing apps, Facebook stock fell by nearly 5%. It also knocked its CEO, Mark Zuckerberg, down from 5 to 6 in the ranking of the world's richest people. He is now worth about 116.8 billion US dollars. All right, now you've seen that uh, backgrounder. That's actually setting the tone for our discourse today. I'll tell you my story, my experience of that. This was about 4.30, 4.35. I had sent a message and I was waiting for a response. I sent severally and there were no, there was, it wasn't dropping on WhatsApp. And I wondered, what is happening? And someone had told me, Cecil, I sent you a WhatsApp. What happened? You have not responded. And I felt, okay, there's something wrong with my network. I use my mobile network. I use my external ne uh, data connection. They were all the same problem. Then I said, oh, the hackers, someone is trying to hack my WhatsApp. That's what I thought because I've learned from, uh, from some friends that uh, when these hackers get into your device, they try to, you don't have access to it, you can't control it. So I felt that was what was happening to me. Suddenly, people, I went online and I checked and I realized that, oh, okay, it's a general problem. I understood it's everywhere in the U.S. that servers were down. People started calling me. I tried making an attempt to answer the question and explain to people what's happened. For many people, they, for some people, they thought the world was going to come to an end. Well, some persons actually told me that. I don't want wondering. Six whole hours. There was no connection. Come on. Before social media, we existed. Uh, we were good. Anyhow, we're going to talk about this some more. As we continue the program. All right, it's time for you to meet my guest. My guest is a blogger. He's a social development expert. He's so many things to his credit. Help me in welcoming the CEO of DotunRoy.com. Dotun, you're welcome. Dotun Fade Yi. Fade Yi Yi. Yi Yi. I don't know why Yi Yi. Oh. I know Fade Yi. Yes. And, yeah. It's so what why many did people are used to. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's a popular sport in Lagos and... Mm -hmm. But when you go to the, when you go to Ye, 
People always want to remove that. Yeah, name. so let's remove that it, one. It, it <laughs> actually makes sense well, when you complete all right, everything. What's the meaning? Fade ye. Fade ye means that um, it's a family name that I grew up to know. So, yeah, I mean, it might mean it to my great great grandfather and the rest of them, but okay. to me, I, I see it as a name and I have to carry on the name. Okay. All right. Uh, Dustin, thank you very much for coming around. Thank you for having me, Ceci. Let me just go straight up. This is what happened. You've heard what happened. What my first thoughts. Okay, my WhatsApp is being hacked. I better alert everybody. Someone is trying to hack my WhatsApp. You can't get me. I said, I like never. What was the first thing before you actually knew it was the general problem? Just like you, you thought it was an hacker, I felt the same way. But at the point, I, 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 I thought it was network. So I dropped my phone and after an hour, I went back again. I'm like, wow, this message is not still yeah. hanging. So I have to put on my phone. I did. Hone it again. And then when after I hone it, I realized this message was still remaining the same. So I have to uninstall my WhatsApp. I uninstall. I thought about the that, app, but I felt. Which led to me losing so many messages that I didn't back up prior to uninstalling. So uh, it, it, it was uh, a loss on my own part for doing that out of uh, curiosity to know the problem. So I, I eventually dawned on me that um, uh, Facebook was hanging as well. So I went to Facebook. I realized Facebook was hanging. I went to Instagram. And it's owned by similar same. organization, same organization. Yes. So it became uh, 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 dawn on me finally that uh, the, the net, the, 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 uh, that particular organization yeah. have been facing some challenges. So later on, um, someone on Twitter tweeted that, oh, did you guys notice Facebook has been hanging? Everywhere? So that's when I knew that, oh, Facebook and the rest are having problems. So eventually, yeah. we, 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 we receive an apology from them. Yeah, yeah. you know, I, I, did, I did the restart thing. Then uh, while I was still at, or when I, when I later found out, I had to go on to, go, I wanted to ask Google, what can I do if <laughs> my phone is oh. hanging? Yes, I needed to do something. Then suddenly I just said, okay, I should just check. I just checked uh, uh, what's up hanging. Then announce I seen so many. Then later my mobile, uh, my internet data connect uh, connecting service provider sent a message to us saying that it's not their fault that they saw. Oh, I now I got relaxed exactly. and I started asking exactly. everybody this question. It was like calling me. I almost felt like the deputy CEO of of uh, Facebook. Ah, <laughs> honestly, it, so. it's it's it, you know you know the 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 the, the um, most shocking part of it was the fact that Facebook and the rest has given us. Seamless services that mm. nobody could ever think yes. that they would have problem like that, and that was the reason why it, it took the world by, by 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 storm like that, and the whole world stood still because Facebook and this app that we thought they were just uh, something to fiddle around to yes. play around has really penetrated our lives. That if if they stop today, a lot of people may go bankrupt. Yes, yeah, I that mean, is, at that is as big as, as big as that. At what point did we rope our lives around this yes. thing? We, 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 we jokingly play around these things and gradually, gradually, it sank into us. Someone told me that and I felt I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. And many people <laughs> now hardly could do without Facebook in, in within, an, within a second. Now, you see, now, now, the side effect of this social media thing. Um, the, the, the downside, let me not say the side effect, the downside is we, people tend to overdo it. Now, over time, people begin to see it as an addiction mm. because it you, you couldn't addiction. control your, the, the nudge, the, the, the urge to do it. Even when someone, something important is going on, someone is having an important conversation with you, you want to keep fiddling with your phone. We want to know who is sending you message part time. You want to know how you're going to send those emojis and stickers to, in, 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 to keep the conversation going while other things are, are going on around you. Yes. And it makes everything look so... So so boring, yeah. You know? Because to say to to to, to 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 so to speak, because even couples now, for them to have good conversation, conversation. is becoming like uh, an, an expensive uh, uh, stuff. You, yes. you see, wife friendly with phone, with her phone showing her husband's or her fiance 
or yes. something, or husband, something yeah. on phone. Why the husband too? Oh, let you know, me but check you my know, family and friends who go out for dinner, picnic, and everybody's on their phone. Yeah. It's so it's making it's making life so boring because conversation sometimes makes a particular environment a, a lively place. So when you when your at attention is being diverted to something as small as a, as a tablet or, or your or mobile smartphone, it, it makes everywhere go, goes um, crazy. I know, it makes everywhere go crazy. You know, you can be part of this conversation. Tell us um, when it happened, when Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, you couldn't access it, what ran through your mind? What was the first impression? Tell us your reaction. Share it to us on our, on our WhatsApp line via text message or WhatsApp to 0801-177-82020. You can also tell us what you think life would be with, without social media. Anyhow, we went on the street and we actually asked people these questions and here were their replies. Honestly, it was really, really bad because uh, I, I had somebody that I needed to send some data to immediately at around, I think, 6 p.m. So uh, the person was busy calling me and was asking me, haven't I gotten as I should be able to send him the data? So I sent it, I sent, and I sent, and I sent. I sent for over two, three hours. I noticed the message have, haven't gone. So it was later on when somebody was now telling me that uh, they took down Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook, and that is why messages are not going. I said, ah, I was beginning to wonder if my phone was having a problem. I did not feel anything. Um, what I thought of, first thing I thought is, I, maybe it's from my network, MTN network, because that's a, MTN is what I'm using in my browsing stuff. But I did not feel anything. Initially, I felt it was just a network issue that maybe in the next few minutes it might be resolved. But then realizing that such happened for like seven hours, you see that the whole world was grounded. And if Nigerians should check with just those little things that happened within that few hours, we should know that even the ban of Twitter was very wrong because at that moment, we realized that we are just stagnant. So when a digital era and the earlier government realizes that, the better we can do without social media because the world have gone digital. Initially, I thought it was Nigerian government that decided to ban WhatsApp and <laughs> Facebook. Um, so I was like, uh, what's up? Though that was what I heard though. And, uh, I, I remember sending, sending messages and it wasn't going through. The only thing I was able to do was uh, view status, and which was weird. And it was, you know, a bit uh, shaky and boring. And though I wasn't actually bothered with it because I was more of a bookish person i had to like start switching off turning on my phone i i turned on my phone i guess up to like five times just to make sure that okay it's not from my phone yeah at the end of the day i had to also check my data to make sure i still have data and after realizing that i, I was having data i was like okay probably it's network or something so i had to like chillax and wait to see if it will come back yeah and secondly if all these things are to stop completely man life no good sweet like it's it will be hard it will be hard for people to cope seriously yeah like for me for me because i'm a social media freak i thought my app was crashing so i had to uninstall the app and install it again but luckily i went on twitter with my vpn and i noticed that um, other people around the world around the world not even nigeria were having the same problem so i knew it was um a problem from Max Zuckerberg. I thought it was a network glitch. Maybe my network provider were they were at it again, and I turned on my phone. I turned off my phone several times. I turned it back on, and I noticed. I went to WhatsApp, went to Instagram, noticed the same thing. I'm actually not on Facebook, so I noticed that it was between WhatsApp and Instagram, and it wasn't loaded. I couldn't send messages, and my friends were calling me. I'm like, come online, and I came online. I couldn't receive messages.
right, so that's um, Vox Pop on the street, people's opinion. And someone like you actually uninstalled and tried to re reinstall. And uh, part of the thing I also did when I later, as soon as I found out that uh, it was a case of uh, Facebook having some issues, I just thought, Ha! Nigerians will start saying the president has banned first book. Ha! Uh, ah, that'll be the next thing. So as much as possible, I try. I try telling a lot of people, please uh, spread the information. This is a Facebook issue from their sites and all that stuff. So your, your thoughts on the Vox Pop? Oh, to to me, honestly, I I know a lot of young people are going to be having that um, at time, at that point within that six hours that a lot of young people you can see them saying what they went through. But no, the reality um, that we are yet to accept about um, fintech, um, um, big tech companies mm. is the fact that they are codedly becoming superpowers. Yes. I'm telling you, we are yet to really embrace that reality. And the, the, the reality became clearer a few days ago mm. when the whole world, I mean, stood still because these platforms have gradually became, have become part of our lives, as particularly when the pandemic hit, it was hard in 2020. A lot of businesses jump on Facebook. A lot of people were passive about using social media before. They, they thought we were for young people. They, were, they thought we were for, you know, hot-blooded um, uh, uh, young people who want yes. to hook up with a um, life partner and the rest. But when pandemic hit everybody, they jump on social uh, platform, on this platform, social media, to begin to, to sell what they what, what were their, their ways they begin to sell the, their businesses they created i know a lot of people who criticized me back then that why are you doing all these things now, during the pandemic he practically begged me to open all the accounts for, for mm -hmm. them he even paid me yeah I was so sure now, now yeah me. so so now the the, the, the mm -hmm. reality the pandemic has made us to really understood that these platforms are actually essential part of our lives. And even what happened a few days back, a lot of businesses lo lost a lot of money. Now, even um, Max Zuckerberg, the founder, the owner, the CEO, I, I, I learned he lost he about dropped. 7 billion US dollars. He dropped from the fifth most to richest to the sixth. I'm, I'm so you, sad. Like, he's getting poor. Uh, someone under 40. <laughs> Who, who could make such a who could become that who could attain that status before 40 years, 40 years. You, know, you should understand that um that platform those platforms are actually money spinning platforms you know, so people who are not part of it who who felt oh they are not they are for there for fun they are missing out so um, many people lost their money. F Facebook owner have lost uh, seven billion. Oh, seven please. billion USD. Yeah, he lost seven the billion. <laughs> I moved from fifth to sixth. And that we're supposed to, we're supposed to be crying. USD is being lost every, every. One, one hour, according to NetBlocks. He did mm. the, the, that platform on, on the, in the web on the website. Did the analysis of uh, the amount of even Twitter. Nigeria has lost a lot of money for for shutting down Twitter alone. So we should we need to begin to see the role of these uh, big tech companies and begin to embrace them. Yes, indeed. All right. Um, let's see. Let me quickly take a few messages and then. Um Okay, um, who is this? Uh, please, uh, you can send on your messages to our phone number, uh, which is showing on your screen. Text messages and WhatsApp only. I see a couple of you, like someone trying to call right now. Please don't call. And uh, the number is 081-177-82020. Please do share with us uh, your thoughts. What happened when you found out that these social media platforms were not functioning for the hours that they did. All right, who is this? Dear presenter, my name is Ayongo Gospa from Wari Delta State. Facebook is quickly sending something to somewhere. Facebook is quickly sending something to somewhere. Okay, I really don't get that. You may want to explain better later. All right, um, you know, it's another thing is that it affects on businesses yes. like within the I, I had spoken to someone earlier today who had talked about the fact that uh, they she's a, a food company yeah. they were waiting for orders others were not coming people were placing orders the others were not coming they were all confused what is happening mm -hmm. delivery guys were wondering where what's happening you know everything just kind of this this disrupted everything uh, exactly as we know it exactly just just imagine uh, NTA having a live stream on Facebook and you, you, you have to, I mean, do some little couple of adverts mm. for some people within that hour. Do you think they would take it lightly? They mm. would, we would rather probably pay them back for those ads you didn't run 
because of uh, little snag or glitches that happened mm. because of that outage. Because they will be looking forward to see it. And mm. by the time you, the, the, the Facebook is back and they, they ask you where... Where is even the you know because Facebook automatically saved the video mm. or whatever stream you did on it. So when they try to search your Facebook and they couldn't see the ad, they will have to yeah. ask for their money. Yes, so that's a, that's the way many people lost uh, uh, major deals and 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 gigs within that six hour. A lot of gigs were lost and major deals were lost because there was nothing anybody could do about it. The the, the Facebook staff, let me say this, all those um, the tech guys, they were even prevented from having access to correct the anomaly because they, they were being they were being they, they were being everything is being run, run by code the, it's the AI, high you know artificial intelligence yeah, yeah. they had to they had to scan their face they had to scan their body and when the system suddenly shut down everything that could scan the technician the the staff that would attend to the problem became difficult mm. so that is the side effect that is the downside the, the, of, of using AI to program everything. So I think Facebook will begin to look for alternative means should this thing occur again so that they will be able to attend to it. Because six hours is it's not joke. Yes, joke. yes. You it's know, it, it happened in 2019. Yeah. Yes, but it wasn't as long as this and it wasn't as widespread as this. Yeah. But this one was six hours. Six hours now is I'm no wondering. Joke. What will happen in the first 24 hours? Ah. Two days, maybe. Man, a lot of <laughs> things will happen. So, six hours they were still trying to get the right person to attend to it because you have to scan the person, you have to know it's actually the person because they are, we are dealing with data here. They, according to them, they say our data are safe with them. Okay, the, that's, another that's, a, that's another thing we're going to talk about. That's another yeah, thing. How yeah. safe... How, how safe, safe are, are you? These uh, that yes. put on this how safe are your information yes. with uh, this uh, with these guys? You know that's part of the issues that we'll be talking about yeah. as we continue. Yeah. Remember that Facebook uh, found founder, well, Facebook company has an issue right now yeah. in the US. Yes. So yes, we'll get to get uh, see yeah. clips of that as yeah. we continue the program. Yeah. All right, please send your messages coming in. I said messages coming in, not text, not phone call. And um, I had a, we had a chat with. Um, an ICT expert, Innocent Courier. He gave us his thought about um, what happened on Monday, October 4, and the way forward. Here is it. Um, well, till this moment, um, there has not been an official statement of what exactly happened, but what we know that. Um, the three platforms, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, um, had a downtime that lasted for hours. That is precisely on Monday uh, afternoon in Nigerian time. Um, so for the moment, uh, that's the much. There were rumors of uh, hack, there were rumors of compromise, and all that, but it's not yet officially and... Um, professionally stated that this is exactly what happened and um, so until then we can't say this is what happened all we know that uh, the platforms were down for some hours and that's and that's actually uh, created a bit of panic around the world okay for me personally first I I did not realize I was um, a shutdown of the platforms. Initially, I felt it was um, a network issue from my internet service provider. Uh, but over time, after some moments of, uh, I could, I, I noticed that I could access other platforms, uh, websites. I could do other things online, but those particular platforms were not going through. So I decided to dig a little bit online to know what's happening about news, and I. I got to find out that, oh, um, Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp uh, are offline. Uh, and so at that point, there was no way to communicate or to even share, uh, socialize. But one thing I noticed that happened was that uh, there was a move to the alternatives. Uh, that is when some friends who couldn't reach out use alternatives like Telegram to reach out and say, guy are you there this is what's happening i think it's on those alternative platforms we're able to communicate until they they, they were back up online
Well, I think before um, saying anything about the world without social media, let's talk about this world with social media. Um, what is the fair? Because the thing that happened on Monday um, is a call to action, is a call to action regarding how our lives has changed. Um, the online uh, space has totally changed the way we live as humans and there is nothing we can do about that. But the only thing we can do is to pay attention to the, the aspects that are very critical. And I want to look at it from three perspectives or, uh, or thereabouts. First is our business life has been taken over by the uh, social media platforms or the online space. And uh, I believe on Monday, within the hours that the three platforms were down, a lot of businesses um, uh, were at loss. Facebook uh, had a big loss. Uh, it, is, it was reported that uh, Facebook lost about $7 billion in uh, advert uh, revenue and shares. Uh, when they came back, they bounced a bit back. Uh, so that's a little bit scary on what happens if these platforms say sleep for a whole day what will happen so that's why people will begin to look at how do you uh, safeguard yourself your business while online and that takes us to another aspect of the concern that the event of that day brought up and that's security um, it's also rumored that um, uh, about half of the number of uh, active users that Facebook has, that their data is open in the dark uh, internet being sold. And then that brings us to a concern of security. How safe are we while online? How safe is our national asset? How safe is our individual persons? So it calls to action for us to begin to pay attention to how we take cyber security, how we take our safety online, what do we share and what not to share how do we uh, and is there alternatives to all these platforms assuming they close their eyes today and say they are no more what happens to our lives a world without social media is in the past if you ask me so but the, because our lives have been um, transformed to live online and for that reason, what I think will going to happen is that we're going to be seeing a lot of alternatives to the major players and the um, um, social network uh, platforms such that we will not be able to say if this guy is off, we have another place to play. I think that's what's going to happen. Most of our customers, they order through the internet, especially Facebook and WhatsApp, sorry, WhatsApp and then online. And, we, and it was like, there was no customer there. I was wondering whether people, or there are not people on the other part of the world again, as if people have gone to another part of the world, because others were not coming in that is supposed to come in. So there was a lot of confusion everywhere. And I was, I went to the report, I was, what is happening here? And what is happening? I asked my colleague, is there any problem? They should check their WhatsApp, check their Facebook, check the online, what is happening? There was nothing, there was no reception. And, and at, it was like, everything has come to a standstill in the world. So you lost money that day? We lost a lot of money. Customers were complaining how their order were not delivered, which we did not see any order at that moment because everything was just total shut down. We lost a lot of money that very day, and our sales was not even up to what we used to say because we didn't get all those orders coming in and we didn't pack any, so a lot of money was lost. You have your phone. Okay, all right. Um, that was um, that was to respondent and ICTS part to give us his thought first about what it's. Uh, he's thinking when that just happened and of course uh, all the talk social media and all that stuff. all the talk social media well we just talked about it it's yeah. going to be our life is so revolved around it now that uh, without it it may seem very empty yeah, yeah exactly that, the, the more mysterious thing about this fourth industrial revolution uh, which we are currently which are, in, yeah. is the combination of digital revolution and information technology now, information te information rules the world. As I speak to you, I whoever has an information is that's what they call that's what they termed content. Now, mm. whatever information you have at your own disposal, 
if you know how to analyze it properly, you become richer than someone who does not have any inf mm, information at all. Information. So, so now the platform, all these platforms have been created for people to put some information there that can yield profit. So that's why we advise some people who have uh, who do not really have their another uh, major information per se, but to share information about themselves, about what they do, about their businesses to the world. So instead of sharing gossip of other people, mm. information about unnecessary stuff, now create information around what you do, which are, uh, could be your business, could be your career, it could be your yeah. religion, it could be anything. I so agree, I agree, but and we become, know that. We know. You become rich. I agree, but I want to tell that to Linda Ikeji. Who, she, sells, yeah, yeah. she sells gossip. Her gossip sells for her. Yeah, yeah. Gossip never sold a dime until Linda Ikeji. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> jump on that platform and, you know, use yeah. that six cents and, and, and begin to make know. money. All right, let's take some messages. My name is King Clinton. I felt very bad. I thought my phone had a problem. I had no option but to sleep. I later found out it was a general problem. All right, I was thinking my data went bad and I had to buy data. Uh, Cecil, I was thinking Rapture has started and the social media space <laughs> and the next human race. Okay, I was thinking so Rapture has started uh, with the social media space and the next human race. Gabriel from Benin City. Okay, uh, who is this? Good afternoon, my name is Sammy. When I hear Facebook was down for some hour, I could, I, I could cry because I felt it was a dream. All right, um, I basically I think basically the temporary breakdown was a blessing to Telegram in disguise. Yes, yes, you can see that other people migrated to Telegram, people migrated to Twitter. In fact, Twitter had a, Twitter had a fun time on. I, uh, if you've checked the oh first fe uh, uh, feature we had, Twitter actually just said, "Well, they welcomed <laughs> everybody to their platform." If out. there is a word <laughs> to be used on social media called Exodus, Exodus from to WhatsApp. To, to 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 telegram telegram so do you do you or uh, uh, duo all those platforms will receive guests sudden I guests know. and like, a lot of groups they were whatsapp before the moment they realized whatsapp actually crashed like wow this is actually a major warning for us to have a backup plan for whatever it is that we discuss on this group mm. and because anything can happen at any time so i well, now, who says telegram may not crash Yes. Who, who, who could ever uh, actually when whoever when, thought with the migration uh, to twitter uh, twitter was overwhelmed that they started having their own network issues yes so their support group quickly went and took care of that and told people that no they can still remain everything is okay everything is okay and then, i mean the, the people trolled facebook a whole oh, lot a, a lot and it's a major message for us it's a wake-up call for us in, in in africa honestly what are we selling to the world what are we selling do we have to wait for international west Western in media. particular to dictate whatever we want to the direction we want to go i mean look at how they've turned the whole world i mean three billion human on the face of the earth are on these platforms okay. and they are they are breathing they are eating and living on it I and know. making money on I'm it making money now and on. look at how the, the whole thing shook the world good so day. what is africa let's giving? take a few messages and then we'll go on to something else good day i'm daniel okay uh, the issue, I'm Daniel Nkwasu, the issue that occurred with Facebook shut down for those few hours shows how, okay, we've taken that before, how strong the global community is. Good day. About the social media meltdown, the first thing that got into my mind was that my account was hacked. I just had to put off my phone severally. It was really weird. All right, dear presenter, my name is Dolapo. I had to uninstall. I lost a lot of messages. Social media has become an addiction. True. I'm telling you. True. My name is Wisdom Togi. That night, I was surprised. I thought it was data. But when my neighbor began to complain, we went out searching for data. <laughs> yeah. And my um, desire for River State, the network that day was not easy. I thought my data had finished. Okay. And, hack, and hacked too. Uh, okay. And, and also hacked. Now, one thing I want us to talk about is um, the issue... Oh, with Facebook right now. Yes. The lady, uh, for, for those of you who don't know, um, for, some, for some days now, yeah. a former employee of Facebook, Frances, I can't remember her other name now, she actually came out to say that 
Facebook have some issues that they are hiding. You know all those information you give to Facebook. Have you ever wondered what they do with it? Yeah. When you enter everything at the end and you know, there is this whole terms and conditions no, that is that so lengthy. No, no, you know, Does anybody ever, ever read that thing? And yes, we will always just well, always, agree with you know, whatever choice, condition agree. they give to us and jump on it. Yes, yeah, so somehow you give them all your information and what they do with it is what you don't know. Well, Frances came out to tell us that uh, Facebook actually is more concerned about money, making money, than your safety and other issues that concerns the public. Anyhow, we she had this interview on 60 Minutes. 60 Minutes is a program on CBS. She had this interview. It was quite revealing, and it's been all over the internet. Here is a clip of it where she talked about uh, what Facebook does with the information yeah, you share. Yeah, yeah. You know, that is an issue of um, bad news sales, you know, things, negative sales. So Facebook knows that that is what people want to. So they give it up to you, even if it's costing you any harm. Well, call her disgruntled, call her wicked, call her, I believe her. I believe, see, big tech companies, they have, a, they have their own issues. And um, even before now, U.S. government still put some of them under scrutiny. You're, you're aware, right? Yes. Before the before the whistle blowing, they are still under scrutiny, but they allow them to fly, to flow their business because they are creating job opportunities for people around the world, mm. and they are also there are benefits, a lot of benefits. Yeah. I, I would say the benefit outweighs the downside, yeah, but the downside? people's data should be should be crucial to uh, to to them more than anything, more than the profit. Yeah. What we put there. Are not safe believe me trust me whatever see the only information that is still safe or data that is safe is the one you still have in your head hmm. see whether facebook or any other big tech companies or uh, apps or platform forget whatever you put on keyboard is already in the public see forget it only the only information that you still have safe they have, they have seen them promising us that our data is, uh, uh, is safe. We are going to respect your privacy. You know, even from what, from even what, from WhatsApp. What, from what she's saying, yeah, all, all, practically most of all, practically all of them. Yeah. You know, from what she's saying, for those likes, those times you like something, yes. Facebook already has recorded it. No, no, okay, these are the kind of things. So these your likes. likes. Yeah, they already so know. They, they can use that to monitor, to monitor you, you, to judge your personality. No, have you played those tarot cards? Those psychic game that you play, that they judge you, they tell you your personality, your yes. temperament, your the, the kind of husband you like to date, to have, the kind of profession you like to flourish at, in, you, you know, some of those things are it. what they use. I play this several times, and most times I don't publish. Once I play, and they get me. I mean, they get you accurately. Yeah, but you begin they, to they, wonder how did they psyche? get to know all these things about me? It is based on the likes you have had in the past <laughs> you know many of us have been on facebook for 10 yes, years yes, yes. facebook have been around for almost 15 years yes. so mm, close to 20 so a lot of people have been on that platform for those years mm. for me i've been on facebook since 2008 in my 2018 now yeah. and some people have been there before me so i was so reluctant before i joined facebook so but those are the things they use over the years they begin to compile your data the, the, those here <laughs> yeah, but those those, yes, thing, each know. individual on the face of the earth that are, that have registered and have uh, a, a, a particular handle on their platform have been monitored. Monitored, yeah. Forget it. You are no longer. You There's are not living. Pri no privacy. See, whoever, no Dottu, privacy. Dottu That's now, the downside we, of, just, of. Just before uh, we took that, we talked about the fact that they give you all these whole terms and conditions. Does anybody ever read it? Oh, should I get a wait? Maybe no. <laughs> Maybe I should get a lawyer to help me read it before I say okay. No one has ever read it. <laughs> it no one. Has. See, have you noticed that some of these terms and conditions usually have these big vocabs that yes, you will need to look so at dictionary to get what they mean. So they know that most people, most most uh, most people are non-speaking English, non-English speaking countries, countries will yeah. just go with the flow because they believe that app is suitable for them yeah once you, you read first line second line you see some big vocabs and you get turned off you just, you just say just well, why like, wasting my time reading this you just click agreed okay, agreed agreed then, then this um, um, um this particular this thing comes up um bot bot checker usually bot checker usually come they may say click on 
lorries, click on bicycle. Those are bot checkers to know whether you are a robot or not. They want to really know. See, see, Facebook is about human monitoring. To me, to me, see, that's it. that is no, the way I well, see. Well, Each time check bot, check botters, check uh, bot, bot checkers come up, you begin to wonder what, why, why are they so particular that you must be human? Yes. When when there is artificial intelligence coming up, why are yeah. they particular about you? You must be human. Okay. When you get to that bot checker, they will ask you, are you human? If you ask me, <laughs> now who Why are they particular ask? about you being <laughs> human before you join their platform? I have no idea. No, they are, they Let's take agenda. a message now. <laughs> who is this? Hello, presenter. Nice work out there. The temporary disengagement of Facebook WhatsApp apps came to me as a shock. My fiancé was the first person to inform me about it. She complained about it as though her phone was having issues until I confirmed and others, and others were calling me for the same my dear it wasn't easy this is this writer is writing in from kaduna i say my name is uncle sopu from zaria in kaduna state okay let's see who is here again um who is this said i felt it was network i left the program and came back again and i saw the same thing i went to google to log in through google and i saw that it was still okay it wasn't the same on google though all right my name is atim samuel from Benue State. Hi, I love your program. To me, I feel that we may be, to me, I felt that it may be the federal government that wants to ban Facebook or something. So that something went wrong with my account. Well, at least now you know, we've told you it's not the federal government. It's a national, it's a global thing. Okay, who is here again? All right, we'll take WhatsApp later, but quickly, yeah. let's still take a look at uh, the lady, Frances, from the former staff of Facebook. Right. She talked about the fact that Instagram was being used to um they are the target teenagers mm. who actually go there and they get and work on their psyche some of them are depressed she talked a whole lot about it but let's take a clip from that and then we'll talk about it all right mm. let's watch francis on 60 minutes on cbs what she, this she said it's actually true then that means facebook is actually phony facebook instagram they are phony because i've seen them saying they don't like um underage content uh blah 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 i've seen a lot of site a, a lot of accounts being hacked down, down. Yeah, yeah because they put underage um uh, teen girls content on their platforms yeah. so why this and, and, and again, I've noticed, have you noticed that um, because of Instagram, a lot of ladies now go into body enhancement um, journey. Uh, personally, yes. they want to look a particular oh, way yes, because they've seen a lot of fake, maybe, I don't know, maybe fake bodies, fake uh, yes, people, people super people banging a, body in quotes on, on Instagram. People present a fake live on Instagram. Yeah. And, ev and yes, so uh, everybody wants to see that as the model, yeah. as the ideal. Yeah. They want to yeah. go there and try to see how they can mold and sculpt the body yeah. to be so, like so that. What, what, so what, how would you even believe that some of these ladies you see are not underage girls? Mm. Because after they have undergone um, yeah. that particular surgery, surgery, their body will look so mature as if they actually... Uh, 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 above 18. You see, you see, you see, you see where this lady is coming from. I'm actually mm. believe, I believe every word she said about this, this particular whistleblowing stuff. Because I, I think majorly the, the, the whole idea of this big tech company is, to, is profit. America is a capitalist country and nobody wants to lose. Okay, so if they do that, if they harness or doctor whatever uh, uh, community rules and regulation or whatever they have to suit this particular purpose in order to make money, I believe. Now, can social media be regulated? That is going to be that's a big thing because yeah. it's in an open space where there are practically no regulations. Different countries are trying to come in to see how they can get to manage this. I mean, different societies have their different cultures, yeah. values, and all. So, what works in country A may not work in country B, may not work in country C, Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah. Anyhow, <coughs> gradually, <coughs> beg your pardon. Yeah. As we try to round up this program, as we try to at the end of this program, it's important that you stay safe when you're on these devices. Uh, we just put together a clip or two on how you can get to maneuver in any of the social media platforms. So let's see. 
I mean, information can never be too much. We've talked about uh, social media safety on this program before. Today, we're just giving you a clip or two on what, uh, like a reminder, enjoy it. Social media users' concerns about their privacy have spiked in recent years. Incidents of data breaches have alarmed many users and forced them to rethink their relationships to social media and the security of their personal information. These growing privacy concerns have prompted advocacy for tighter regulations and we all need to enlighten ourselves on the social media privacy guidelines. The privacy settings on social media platforms allow users to control who sees the information they put out there and as a result controls how secure your information is. Facebook not only should you consider who can see what you post online, it gives you the option of private, friends, friends of friends, and public, but also what organizations can assess when it comes to marketing. Things like your birthday, hometown, and interests may be assessed by businesses to tailor the advertising to you. Instagram. Instagram users can tailor their profiles in the information and pictures they share. The photo focus of Instagram means that privacy settings are much more black and white. Users can either make their profile private or public, determining if people need permission to follow you. A kind of bouncer to your personal photos, so to say. The worry is that the obsession with the number of likes you can get on a picture can lead people to leave their profiles wide open and exposed for anyone to see. Privacy is important because it enables individuals to have control over their life. Personal information is very important in making decisions about an individual. Restricting access to vital personal information can help individuals to have control over their lives. This is because no decisions will be made in secret without their knowledge. Therefore, privacy is important because it gives individuals absolute control over their lives. Something for you to note and, uh, you know, try to take, be a little more careful when you are online. All right, the program is still the medley show and I'm Cecil. I've been having a chat with my friend, Dotun of DotunRoy.com. Dotun, thanks for coming around. Thank you, Cecil. All right, uh, quickly, let's take a few messages. All right, this person, you didn't write your name, you just said Cecilia. Okay, you just said presenter and you gave an applause. Thank you very much. All right, um, good day, presenter. The meltdown taught me a lesson never to trust my business with online only i have i've started maintaining good relationship with my local customers because no one knows tomorrow charles from benin city well i mean can we really come back uh, i don't know okay let me just take this one then you react quickly good morning okay afternoon presenter social media help us to connect with most of our friends we've not seen for a long time but for me i think social media plays more negative impact than positive impact on the society when facebook and instagram went down i was thinking the federal government again while i later understood it wasn't a cook from lagos while there's someone else um i prefer if you mind your language when you send uh, messages someone is um, a little vulgar here so please i wouldn't mm -hmm. take that so um your thoughts on some of these okay this one says my name is victor i thought my phone i thought it was a phone problem and i spent 1500 naira to fix it <laughs> okay who is this anyhow we have so many of these messages all right so what would you want to leave us with um i mean how can we stay safe we've seen that feature trying to advise us on what to do as someone who is almost always online how can we stay safe for those of us who don't know what you know Okay, uh, I will advise because uh, when the outage happened, a lot of people who rely on Facebook in getting their form filled. Mm -hmm. Now, when you are filling a form, you have, have you seen Facebook, um, these pop-ups like 
do you have Facebook account? Yes. Do you have LinkedIn account to log in into a particular website? Yes, yes. To register, to skip all the putting of password, yes. username and all that because you have Facebook account. Yes. Facebook wants to want to know everything about your 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 life. Your life. By allowing Facebook, by using Facebook as a, as a uh, uh, a username for that particular form you're that, filling yes. or website that you're filling, then when the outage happens like this again, you will never be able to accept uh, access access that that anymore. particular website. Wow! If you so you have to avoid that. Anytime you are filling a form, take that pain, fill out new username, fill out uh, your email that is active. Fill out every okay, of your personal do that also. Content. Don't always you accept Facebook. Be your your Re reason yeah, they'll ask to, you to fill a particular form. Facebook asks you, can I? Can you remember? There's always an option. If you have LinkedIn account, if you have Twitter account, you have Facebook account. Just they want you to click on that Facebook to to fill in that particular form for you. It's a high. It's called a high because yeah. all the all the all your username, your personal name that you use on Facebook, your email that you use, your phone number. It's already stored on Facebook. Yeah. So the moment you click that, I have Facebook account, it jumps into it that jumps space. Into the space and it and then still remembers it, it takes, for you. Yeah, it, 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 lot, the reason why a lot of people do that is because they do not want, they do not, they are so much in a hurry, they don't want to take that pain of filling the form again, all by again. Know, and they just say, yeah. okay, since I have a That's Facebook too. profile, I am not a fan of filling forms. So when I see shortcuts like that, but thanks for telling me. If you, you know, fill it, Whenever another outage happens, just forget about that particular website. <laughs> Whatever you have okay. done, they will just forget about you. All and right. you will not have the opportunity of, of the, do do what you have done on that On the lighter somewhere. side, on the lighter side, just before when all this happened, when people were a little not comfortable, you know, trust Nigerians. We're not just Nigerians. We made fun of most of these things. Yeah. So there were so many images, memes of... Uh, Mark Zuckerberg, for instance, trying to do some connection. <laughs> then they were, okay, like, look at this one. Uh, they, okay. they call it, uh, uh, yes. Memes. So, okay, this one is uh, Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp shot that people who don't have Twitter, they were all now, you know, of course, yeah, people who yes. don't have Twitter now. Okay, people freaking out about Facebook and uh, being down for six hours. Well, Sims is actually playing. Uh, okay, play Sims. Okay, this is, I like this one. Uh, uh, Mark Zuckerberg said, Facebook, uh, did I scare you? Did I scare you? And uh, that was an interesting one. I mean, just people who just have a way of actually making fun about uh, most of these things. Uh, we back, the whole world was on pause for quite some time. It was almost practically like that, that yes. the world was actually on pause. So still, yeah. I like this one too. <laughs> All right, that's the uh, Instagram, Facebook, and uh, WhatsApp. Then I don't know. Many of you would have seen all this. Uh, yeah, Nigerians, you know, we we try to make yes. uh, something. Um, Look at Max. Oh, my poor guy. He's uh, trying uh, uh, to hilarious out hilarious of typical out situation. Of, yes. To to ease those tension. Yes. So, so they were able <laughs> to come up with all these things, and eventually people will laugh it off. And life goes on. And life goes yeah, on. Yeah, and yeah. life goes on. All right. Well, life is going on. We're gradually coming to the end of the program. My name is Godia, Godia Emmanuel. I thought my friend hacked my account because he has been disturbing me to sell my account for which I refused. So when I noticed it, I called him on phone and started insulting him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Just the many things we do. Well, we actually thought that um, uh, something was wrong. Anyhow, whatever it is. First, they know that it wasn't the federal government that attempted to shut you out. It was a global problem. And Facebook is trying, to, as said, they have rectified it. And it's not the first time it's happening. So, but uh, in all, you have to try to be safe. All those information that you, the kind of site you, kind of places you go to, when I see your account and I see the kind of posts they send to you, I know the kind of things you have been searching. That's why they are sending some of these things to you. So be careful what you post. You don't know who is saying it. You don't know what's happening at the back end of this. Dotun, thank you very much for coming around. Uh, I really appreciate you. Thank you for having me on this show. All right. Uh, yeah, and I look forward to more. Yes, yeah. we should have you on again. It was quite, uh, it was yeah. uh, quite a resource for us. Yeah. All right, my name is Cecil Egbele. This is the point where I talk about and tell you we'll see you again next week.